Hey, what's going on guys? Control Gun here today, and I'm bringing you a commentary over a very, 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 very old Gears of War 3 gameplay I have. Um, I'm actually, for the most part, watching this along with you guys, because like I said, it's this is, this is very old. Uh, I would, if I had to guess, I would probably say I got this sometime in September, because I've had, I mean, if I, if I play the game... And I get a gameplay that's good enough to use as a gameplay. I obviously save it. So I'm moving my mic that might have made some noise. Uh, but I haven't really done a lot of regular commentaries at all recently. Um, and so I just kind of keep stacking them up. And hopefully this gameplay should be pretty interesting. I saw what I titled it. And hopefully it has some interesting points. I'll put it that way. Um, but I did just want to do a commentary today to talk to you guys because it has been, like I said, a very, very, very long time since I've done uh, a commentary where I was just literally talking over gameplay that wasn't, like, just a 30-second video. Um, because for the most part, those are the type of commentaries I have been doing right bleh, recently. And, of course, GB Live comps and stuff, but this is obviously very different. This is more of a... A personal time between me and you when I'm talking to you guys about something. Um, and I've found the only time I really tend to do regular commentaries is when I'm doing like an update about something. Uh, and of course, this video is pretty much mostly about updates. But um, I think I'm probably going to try to change that. I'm probably going to try to do some commentaries that are about things that aren't just, hey, this is what's going on right now. Um, I don't know if you guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I don't know how many of you... Subscribe to me for commentaries versus montages versus edits versus whatever. Um, so, I guess I'll find out. Um, but yeah, so I had a couple things that I didn't want to talk about today. Hopefully I will remember the majority of them. Uh, it would probably be good if I remembered. Uh, so the first thing first, the reason I'm even doing this commentary is I, uh, I went out today and I have been out pretty much all day and today I went out and I watched Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows and I just figured I'd touch on this. Uh, is this the part? Apparently there was some part in the video that I did something good. Nope, wasn't there. Um, and uh, I saw the movie, I actually just saw the first Sherlock Holmes movie a little bit ago and I was actually kind of disappointed. It was not as good as I had anticipated to be perfectly honest. Um, I would say it's much worse than the first one. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie, it just was not what I had expected, especially on an action level. There, It didn't seem like there was much action. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, especially the... I particularly liked in the first movie the fight scenes where Holmes would go over exactly what he was doing in the fight and why he was doing it and stuff, and that didn't really happen in uh, this movie. But anyway, uh, done with that, and now we'll get on to the more probably pressing thing um, if you're taking a look at my YouTube channel between whenever this goes up in the last few days, um, obviously you can tell there's a big banner at the top of my, uh, background. What that means is that I am now a Machinima Network partner. Um, I am partnered through Machinima and that means that I get to do a lot of cool stuff with my channel. Um, really, really looking forward to what I can do with it and just really pumped and thank you for all the people. I got some really nice comments from people saying congratulations and stuff. I was very happy when I got the email that linked the accounts. Um, I was about to go to sleep and I checked my email and I saw it was there. And of course then I stayed up for like an extra six hours because I noticed that I had the email and then I got pumped up about it. Is this it? Let's go. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. Is this? Maybe? Oh, oh. Do I get the... Yep. Got third headshot. Okay. Um, and now the things that will change on my channel because of it, I'm assuming not too much. Um, except for one really great thing, the reason, if you've noticed recently, I haven't been posting too much. Um, it's mostly been because the times I've been up, um, th there's a time that's really like the best time to post YouTube videos. Uh, for me, it seems like 4 p.m. East Coast is the best time. Uh, like, for you guys wise, it seems like the most people are around, even around the world at that time, because that's like 9 o'clock in the UK, it's 1 o'clock on the West Coast, um, it seems like that's the best time to post videos, and if I'm doing something or not awake or whatever, or out somewhere during that, that 4 o'clock time, other times of the day, if it's before that I feel like it's too early, and if it's after that I feel like it's too late. One of the great things about being a partner is you can actually schedule when your videos publish, um, 
which means that even if I don't have the time to upload a video at some point that I would want to, I can schedule it just for the next day to automatically uh, publish at 4 o'clock, which is just really great. It's really helpful for me, and hopefully it will help me get a lot more content out to you guys. What else was I? Okay. Um, I should have made a list or something. I think, hopefully I remember everything. But uh, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the things I'm going to be uploading on my channel. Um, a lot of, some of you guys, I don't know if I'd say a lot of you guys, some of you guys, especially some of my older subscribers may remember, a while ago I did, I started posting uh, Kingdom Hearts videos. I think I did two episodes of that. And it really didn't get uh, a lot of views. And it wasn't really the views I was looking for. And so I kind of stopped it. But I realized if I'm having fun playing the game, um, and the people that watched it seem to really enjoy it. I don't really care how many people watch it. I mean, if, if it was two people watching it or something, then that would be one thing. But if, if, if 100 people are watching my video, um, I feel like that's not such a bad thing. That's 100 people that are taking time out of their day. And that's like, um, I have what? I think I have like 90-something thousand total upload views. I might have more than 100,000 total upload views on my channel. Um, and when you really think about it, that literally means that a hundred thousand separate times I changed a person's life. Um, because they would have been obviously doing something else during that time. It might be a very small change, but it might have been a big change. Um, and so that, that means a lot to me. And uh, you guys mean a lot to me. All of you that watch my videos. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, so I, I have like four episodes already done of the Kingdom Hearts stuff. Four more episodes, because I got up to episode six. So I'm probably going to start... Uh, doing uploading those and then um, I'm actually in my own apartment now and I might I'd have to set up my ps3 it's actually sitting right next to me um, but I might set that up and keep making the videos it, like I said it will have been a long time in between some of the episodes but um, uh, I might I'm probably gonna do it I'm not positive I'm gonna do it but I'm probably gonna do it um, what else and then Another thing I want to start doing on my channel, um, because I feel like I've been a part of the montage community for a while, and uh, I've produced montages myself. Oh wow, look how old this is. There's a boom shot there. There's still a boom shot where Scorcher is now. Um, wow, I didn't even... Okay. Um, like I was saying, because I have been in the montage community and stuff and been producing montages and stuff like that, I feel like I have a lot of insight into... Uh, montages and stuff like that and so one of the things I would like to do is I'm gonna start reviewing montages um, at first especially I'm probably gonna start with older montages that I liked and then that will also give you guys the opportunity to go check out those montages um, but after that and even like after the first one of those I produce I would love for you guys to give me suggestions of montages to review even if they're newer ones um, and I, I'm always going to be very very honest with my opinion on montages because I I feel I can be very objective about it um, I don't care if I don't like the person or I do like the person I can be very very objective about montages and I think most people that know me like my friends and stuff would understand that I would be honest I wouldn't hold anything back I would give the honest opinion of what I thought of a montage um, and why I thought of a montage and stuff like that so that's definitely something I want to do. I think I get a triple boom at some point, according to the title of this video. I might have just spoiled that, but hopefully it happens at some point. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to start reviewing montages. Don't know what montage to review, and like I said, maybe it's right here. Yeah, it's probably right there. Yep. Uh, if you guys have any montages you want me to review, please tell me. Because um, that's definitely something I'll like. And I'll, along with reviewing them, if the people that actually make the montages do watch the video, I can also give a lot of hints and stuff and uh, tips and what I thought and what I thought could be improved along those lines and stuff. So if you're, on a, if you're a montage maker and you want to suggest your own montage, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. This video is going to be close soon, I would say. I wonder if I hit the back button anytime soon. I know the I'm looking at, in Vegas and it's going to... I just pronounced Vegas really weird. I said vague. I don't know. Um... Oh, what a shot. What a beautiful shot. Is that guy... Did he just stay there? Oh. Um, but uh, I, I'll just spoil it either way. I went 18-0, uh, at least according to what I titled this video. I titled it, I think... Oh, God! Where did he come from? 
Do I kill him? I must, because he doesn't kill me. Oh, well, maybe he kills him, but that kid came up behind me with a sawed off and just didn't... Oh, oh, there we go. Finally got the... Finally got the Theron that was sitting still on the side of the boat. And then he dies by the retro, but... So anyway, guys, um, I hope you did enjoy. And, uh, that's what you should be... What I said was what you should be saying for me in the future. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh, talk to you all later.